What is up everybody? It's the Sketch Monkey here with a brand new sketching video for you. And and this video we're jumping into Photoshop. Quite a while. I mean a few months, I would say. Probably. I can't really remember last time. And I'm always surprised that this this beauty still works. If you can see the cord here, it's pretty messed up and there are wires sticking out from everywhere but uh you know it still works it still works it's fantastic not gonna jinx it not gonna talk about it anymore I'm gonna knock on some wood and we're good to go so i have a uh this is just standard photoshop cc says 2014 i guess that's the version the format of this document is 1920 times 1280 so standard standard measurements so what i like to do first uh, I remember I like to do this first uh, just make it gray the background because that means I have I Have black and white to play with so I'm gonna sketch a few chairs. That's the idea This video uh, So I have a couple of brushes here as you can see and also my Photoshop is slow at the moment for some reason See what this is no it's not what I want I want pressurized and I think that's this one yes look at that ellipse beauty uh, but the thing is we're not gonna sketch lines right now we're gonna do something different and uh, that is by blocking out the shapes that we want uh, so I'm gonna use a just a regular like this a hard round brush looks like that and what we're gonna do is uh, block out the silhouette of what we're trying to sketch. I don't know. Let's just sketch. Let's see. We have the backrest right here, something like that. And then we have the. Let's see. It does not make the seat too long, uncomfortable. Let's make the legs go down like that. Beautiful. Look at that. And there. Boom! We have our chair. We have our silhouette of a chair. Uh, and the thing is, from here we can we can just go in and uh, start to define it. You can do it two ways. You can do it my way, or you can do it the boring way. <laughs> so the boring way is to uh, uh, use all these uh, you know tools here. Uh, that takes uh, that takes a long time to do, and you know me, I don't I don't have patience for stuff like this. But uh, sure, you can do it. No, that's not what I want. I want to make a selection. Come on, man. Come on. Make selection. Go back. Go to the eraser. This is a hot eraser, and then you can start to define your your little chair like that. Or you can do what I do. I just go to the eraser and uh, just go freestyle it. So let's see what we get. Not overthinking anything. So I don't have any specific shape in mind. I just want to go freestyle and see, you know, what kind of shapes come out of this. That looks kind of cool. I like the uh, I like the leg there, so I'm gonna keep that shape. Let's move this up a little bit so I have more space. Maybe shrink it. So we can, because this leg right here needs some more space to be correct in perspective. Back to the eraser, I'm switching, I'm hitting E for eraser on the keyboard, and I'm just going back and forth between the keyboard and the brush, which is B. Oh, but I still want to be in eraser though at the moment. Like that. Still on the eraser. I think the seat is probably a bit too, too high. I'm gonna lower that down. And uh, let's see how this looks. Go something like that, I guess. If you wanna keep the same style. And you can go crazy, like it doesn't matter if I go in here. I can still go in and just fill this in back. Instead of having to 
use the selection tool, go back and select everything very carefully and stuff like that, which takes a long time and is very, very boring. It's not what we want to do. Sleep not sleep at least not what I want to do. Let's see if we got this right in perspective here. Um, it needs to be some sort of uh, some sort of uh, definition between the, or at least I want some sort of definition between the uh, backrest and the seat. into too much detail for this stage also this needs this foot here I like this version better than this one so I'm gonna try and duplicate that shape somehow back to razor Like that right looks looks all right almost done with this first step all right so from here right now we want to start to add some uh, shading to this we have the the uh, silhouette of it I'm gonna cut this more because it looks too bulky and top heavy so let's uh, just cut this down before we start to add some shading mm. it's always the perspective that's the problem here Alright, let's see if we can add some shading to this. So what I'm gonna do now is I can either use the airbrush or the pressurized brush. Gotta see what happens if we use the pressurized brush. Obviously, I want to have it white. And uh, just gonna start to add some... Uh, uh, some basic shading to this. Same thing here, I'm uh, toggling between between the brush and the eraser to define my surfaces. Oh, let's, there we go, put that on silent. Um. Uh, so I have the the front, the seat here, which is obviously facing upwards, which means that it's going to be white or have some light on it. This is my way of uh, sketching digitally, digitally. Uh, just uh, really fast, really easy, bunch of layers. Uh, on top of each other. I don't really care about the layer structure here. If I start a new piece of shading, I always want to have a new layer. Usually. That's usually the uh, general rule. this get this to look like I'm actually know like I actually know what I'm doing which is not the case at the moment all right so now we have some basic shading here I'm gonna select the this pressurized brush and I'm just gonna go in and add some sketchiness to this before we go ahead 
uh, continue with the shading. And sketchiness means just make it uh, dirty it up, basically, <laughs> if that makes sense. Just add some random lines, put out some uh, uh, some highlights if you want to do that, or uh, you can even use a black brush to define the outline. So if I have here, for example, this is the outline. You might want to add a black curve like that or line just to define the end of the product. So <laughs> from here, I'm starting to realize that this chair is not at all turning out the way I wanted to. So I just decided to speed things up and uh, kind of uh, get it over with as soon as possible and just not have it be painfully long. So I'm just gonna show you all my, uh, what I tried with different brushes and uh, how I messed this up even more. <laughs> just so you can see what went on until, the, uh, until I stopped recording. So there you go, I hope you enjoy.